Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In past video, we have seen how to download STS or uh, Spring Tool Suite and uh, how to create a Spring Boot project in STS, right? So, in this video tutorial, uh, let's move one step ahead. So, basically, a Spring Tool Suite or STS is an extended ID of Eclipse. It specializes in developing a Spring Boot application. Uh, in this video, I will instruct you uh, how to install STS in Eclipse as a plugin. So here I have a Eclipse Mars. If you go to the help and click on the about Eclipse, then you can see I have a Mars release 4.5.0. So here I want to basically install STS as a plugin. So first of all, go to the windows. Uh, sorry help go to the help and here you have a different option you have a second last option is called eclipse marketplace click on this option now wait for a few seconds you will get this eclipse marketplace pop-up will come and here you have a text box uh, in this text box you will have to type sts and uh, click on this search button and wait for a while and you can see sts logo over here so saying that a spring tools uh, that is called uh, a spring id and a spring tool suit uh, release that is 3.8.4 that is coming in this list so here you have an install button let's click on install and uh, installation process has just started uh, just wait now now everything is getting selected by default keep as it is everything and click on the confirm so after clicking on the confirm and uh, that uh, process gets completed then you will get this screen here uh, you will have to accept the license agreement so let's select this radio button and click on the finish now installation process has just started you can see the progress bar right so now this installation process is going on this will take at least few minutes till that just i'm going to uh, pause this video and I'll come back again. In the middle of the uh, I mean installation, you'll get this kind of pop-up saying that you are installing software that contains unsigned content, right? So this kind of pop-up you'll get. So let's click on the OK button. Let's allow them to install. Once installation STS installation will be completed, then you'll get this kind of pop-up saying that you you will need to restart Eclipse for the change to take effect. So let's say yes. Now Eclipse will be restarted and you'll see uh, STS will be installed successfully. Now you can see Eclipse has restarted and you get this kind of layout. And here uh, uh, you can see uh, if you go to here, if you click uh, we have a different perspective in Eclipse, right? Uh, you have a Java perspective, Java E perspective, and one of the more perspective when you install SDS, then one of the more pers perspective option you'll get that is all called a Spring perspective. So let's select this guy and click on the OK. Now uh, let's wait for a few seconds. Uh, that uh, perspective getting changed here you can see the java e perspective right now so now you can see a spring perspective is selected and uh, everywhere and uh, there are a few projects earlier we had created saying that boot in bracket right this is indicating that this is a, a spring boot project right uh, now uh, let's update uh, in previous project there is uh, an error is showing so let's uh, update as a maven 
go to the maven option and update project click on ok so this error will go away hopefully now now error has gone right now you can now this is now very much similar to the sts itself now when you uh, download sts separately and uh, uh, if you work on the sts then the, uh, or if you install sts plugin in an existing eclipse then both are almost very similar so now if you go to the now you are in a spring perspective go to the file and go to the new and here you can see uh, this option we were getting in sts right and now this options a spring starter project option we are getting in the uh, uh, eclipse mars itself why because we have installed sts in eclipse mars right and if you select this option then similar options you are getting over here right so here you can create a demo project let's say project name is spring boat demo and I'm going to select a group as com.infotech and here package name I'm going to select com.infotech.app and let's let's click on the next and here you, are, you, you can see the all dependency all category of dependency you can see uh, which we were uh, getting in case of the STS uh, as well as in case of uh, spring initializer right so here if you, I, I click I, I expand this wave category then we have a wave option so this I'm going to select and click on the next and click on the finish now it is, will take few seconds in processing and here we have created a project successfully a spring boot project if you expand this guy then here a bootstrap a spring bootstrap classes is created automatically right as uh, uh, this class was created when we had created a uh, spring boot project using a spin initializer as well as sts right now let's create a one uh, for testing purpose everything is working perfectly fine uh, so i'll keep this demo as, as much as as much as uh, i'll keep this demo as, as simple as possible so here i'm going to create a hello controller and click on the finish and mark this class as a at the rate uh, rest controller so i have annotated this class with at, at rate rest controller so that means this class is uh, uh, marked as a rest controller now let's create a, a very simple restful method uh, and this restful method is going to return a simple string as a response and say welcome so here just i have taken a very i have created a very small restful wave and uh, using that restful we have just i'm trying to show you uh, a project which we have created using uh, after installing sts on eclipse that's everything is working perfectly fine let's return make a return as simple string welcome welcome to spring world right this is a simple message and this class this method this method i'm going to annotate as at the rate uh, get mapping right so as we did in earlier example and i'm going to assign a url pattern as slash hello so this is the uri of this resource uh, which can be exposed to the external wall right if anybody wants to access this resource then uh, they can access using at the rate slash hello uri right and as of now we don't have any kind of security anybody can access this resource once we will post this uh, restful web services on the uh, server then anybody can access uh, using this uri 
so there is no any kind of security mechanism as of now so in future video we will see we will apply some kind of security so uh, if anybody wants to access uh, some resources restful resources then uh, they will have to specify username and password right that's the basic auth authentication kind of things so now after doing uh, these things let's run this application now run as a java application so you can see we are getting this option a spring boot app so either you can run like this or you have a second option to run a spring uh, boot project when you create this project using STS then right click on the project and you can see right run as you are getting this option a spring boot app let's run like this and your project will be deployed or deployed on the tomcat so as we discuss uh, a spring boot comes with the embedded tomcat right that, that's by default right so saying that tomcat is started on the port 8080 right now let's try to access this resource from the browser so here is uh, i have opened a chrome so let's type http colon localhost and our port number is 8080 and our resource uri is slash hello hello so and if you press enter then we are getting uh, an output welcome to the spring boot world and that is coming from the this restful resource right that is coming from the this restful resource so in this video i, I have shown you how to install sts plugin in uh, eclipse and uh, how we can create uh, a spring boot project right so that's all i have in this video so thanks for watching this video and this code I am going to put on the GitHub and GitHub location I will specify in the video description. In past video series, uh, we have seen a very uh, simple application like Hello World kind of RESTful web services. Uh, uh, still, there are some of the basic things I will uh, cover in the next few video series. And after that, we will write some complex RESTful web services there. Instead of returning a simple string, we can return some kind of some kind of custom model object and you can have a single model object or collection of model objects some kind of crowd operation basically we will perform and uh, uh, we'll see uh, i mean uh, all kind of uh, i mean uh, crowd operation in depth so please be with me uh, in uh, next video series and thanks for watching this video